words you sang to me A modern mystery The canvas waiting for the color in the morning light I saw it in a dream The spaces in between I saw the words forever Dream from side by side What's mine is yours and yours is mine I don't remember when we first met, but I remember the feeling you gave me. When we first... <laughs> when we first got together, it started with a promise that we would end. With the limited time window I thought I had, I promised myself I would hang on to every second we had together for the rest of my life. On October 4, 2015, we had been friends for close to six years. You met me out at the Foundry after a festival called Listen Out. And after a 3 a.m. kebab in the valley, you somehow wormed your way out of the friend zone. I knew I loved you the minute we decided to start seeing each other in secret and had agreed not to catch feelings for one another for the sake of our friendship. What a lie that was. I was the one to admit I had feelings first, and luckily you felt the same way. I wrote it all down in a diary, and this is how I felt about you then, and how I still feel. Before we admitted our love for each other, I was constantly scheming how we might actually extend our time together so I could get some more of those precious seconds with you. Because when I'm with you, I am home. Spending time in nothingness with you means everything to me. Spending a lifetime with you would still be too short. And a lifetime of only laundry and taxes with you would be a life well lived. I am head over heels in love with you. I don't know what I've done to deserve a love like this, but I'm so grateful for you. I have no idea what's next but I know I want to continue doing it with you. Beautiful in ways I cannot describe. You are strong and a little bit too sad. 
but your strength gives me strength. And all I have achieved and will achieve is in reverence to the courage that you provide for me. Ever since then, we've been on quite the journey. I'm so incredibly proud of you, who you were, who you are, and who you are yet to become. Mostly, I promise to walk with you through this life with courage, optimism, and love. You don't need to impress me. You don't need to cook or clean for me. <laughs> you don't even always have to be nice to me. Just give me a few more of those precious seconds. Gentlemen, it is great, it was with great pleasure that I introduce to you for the first time as a married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Rachel and Ian. Ian, you may now kiss your beautiful bride. Ian, you are my home and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life doing everything and nothing with you. I love you endlessly.